We've had one incident that's occurred approximately 27 nautical miles off the Sunshine Coast uh, where a, a male a gentleman has uh, reportedly gone overboard uh, and now we've currently got a search and rescue in play uh, and searching for that individual. That happened in the early hours of this morning and at this stage we've got a number of uh, aircraft and other vessels searching for him uh, and those aircraft have come from not only state assets but also uh, federal assets. That's correct. The information we've got at the moment is that he has gone overboard uh, in particularly rough seas. Uh, and like I say, we've currently got vessels and aircraft out there searching for him. And did the crew, the crew spot him at some point to try and grab him? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the skipper of the vessel, uh, you know, it's early days at this stage, but the advice I have received is that the skipper of the vessel had seen him there before he actually broached a large wave. And uh, after that wave had passed, uh, the, the gentleman couldn't be found. Oh, we don't have that level of information at this stage, I'm sorry. And how many other people were on board the vessel? I, I don't know. I know at least there was one other skipper, but outside of that I'm unsure of the numbers. Was he a crew member or did he own the boat or the trawler? No, I'm led to believe he is a crew member. Are you uh, intending on searching into the night? Yeah, we will continue to search while we the opportunity is, is um, likely that we will find him. Uh, so the search will continue until, uh, until we have deemed that uh, it's fruitless to continue. Yeah, I'm sure they would be very distressed. Uh, you know, as you would expect under these circumstances, losing a friend and a co-worker, uh, you know, that would be a very stressful moment. But uh, we're doing everything we can at the moment to try and find him. Well, are, we, sorry, are there great fears for him or are we still holding out hope? Oh, it certainly will hold out hope. Uh, you know, any time that you're alone in the water uh, for a lengthy period of time, those uh, you know, concerns obviously increase. But at this stage, we certainly are hopeful we will find him. I, I don't have his age, I'm sorry. And did Chris throw life rings deeper out to him in the hope that he travelled one of those? He was, uh, was, from what we're told, he was uh, supported with some, uh, some safety equipment. Some equipment was thrown overboard to try and mark the location. Uh, and uh, like I say, at the moment we're searching in, those, uh, in that vicinity. That's off the Sunshine Coast here, so 27 nautical miles off the Sunshine Coast. Is the Sunshine Coast based on the vessel or is it from Perth? Yeah, I'm, I'm unsure of that, I'm sorry. What sort of assets have been deployed to? Yeah, we've got uh, a fixed wing aircraft out there as well as a helicopter, but also there's uh, the police, police vessel has also been launched and, and is out there currently, along with a number of uh, other trawlers in the, that were in the vicinity also searching. They're rough. The advice I've got is uh, it's rough out there and it's uh, certainly unpleasant. And a man's body has also been found? Yeah, uh, early this morning uh, there was a, a second incident where a uh, vessel ran aground on the, uh, on the beach at, at Malulaba. Uh, nobody was on that vessel, which sparked also a, a search of, of this particular around the Malulaba and, and vicinity. And unfortunately we have at this stage found a, a male approximately 800 metres off the beach at, uh, at Maruchidor, uh, which we strongly suspect, although yet to be confirmed, that this is the, the gentleman off that vessel. Can we confirm, was he still alive when he was pulled from the water and died amongst his pair of life? Oh, that's information I don't have, I'm sorry. And what do we know about him? Uh, we know that he, the vessel is, um, is a US vessel, a United States vessel. Uh, you know, we, we are drawing some conclusions at, that at this stage that the male that's been located in the water is or has come off this particular boat, but we are still running through inquiries to try and determine the exact circumstances. Is he believed to be the only one on board or are we looking for anyone else? Again, it's too early to sort of come to that conclusion, but we suspect he is the only person, but uh, we will certainly run those inquiries out to try and determine whether that is the case. Are there any searches continuing in regards to that? Absolutely, yes, there are searches continuing. Uh, and again, we've got uh, some police assets and also uh, Surf Life Saving Queensland were, were of great assistance to us on this occasion. Uh, Sorry. Certainly, your question. Uh, is it correct that an American passport was found on the boat? There, there is, a, it's an American vessel, uh, so there, there is an American passport on the, on the boat, so, which leads us to believe that uh, you know, the occupant was an American, 
certainly the, on the basis that the uh, vessel itself is also an American vessel. How old was he? I don't have that information, sorry. Do you know the, the, where the boat was prior to coming to the coast? Has it stopped along the coast of Queensland, that kind of thing? Yeah, those inquiries are also being conducted at the moment. We don't have any firm movements of the, uh, of the vessel, but uh, certainly we'll be speaking with customs and uh, other port authorities to determine where it's mo what movements it has had. Uh, not formally, no. No, not yet. But we are working with both the, cons the consulate, the US consulate, around this issue. Nothing concerning that. Did you want to ask me about COVID-19? Any fires over the weekend? <laughs> Any fires? Was there COVID-19 questions you wanted to ask over the? Sorry. Any fines? Any fines? Oh, sorry. I thought you said fires. No fines. Uh, fines, yes. Uh, no, we, there were no fines issued over the weekend. We certainly had good cooperation from, uh, from members of the public as they came up to the coast. We saw a, a big influx of people, so uh, that was uh, nice. Uh, however, there were a few locations that caused us some concerns, and that was generally around skate parks, uh, some markets, and also shopping centres. Um, also, we, uh, we did have some social distancing issues within some business houses. Uh, where the setup of the houses themselves weren't, uh, weren't maintaining that social distancing. So through some corrective advice, uh, we're hopeful that we'll maintain that uh, very good outcomes that we've had so far around uh, non-transmission of the virus. You were focusing on house parties. Did you get any complaints about that? We had a couple of complaints, uh, however, not so much about house parties. And uh, it was grateful to, to see and very pleasing to see that uh, the community heeded that advice and recognised that house parties are off limit. When you say, when you say skate parks, too many people, you take turns? Yeah, no, it's very much around uh, the social distancing and too many people in close uh, proximity to one another. That's where our concern uh, rests when it comes to state, skate parks and, and markets and, and those very popular locations where people go to visit. Have you spoken to council? Is there any risk of those places closing and people keep ignoring no, no, I think it can be well managed through, uh, through some education and council and, and us are very supportive of those operations continuing. Uh, however, at this stage, we're just reminding people that, uh, that the social distancing aspect of COVID-19 and, and the response is still very much alive and well. You say you had a few complaints. What, what were they about if they went about house parties? Uh, so sometimes it was about um, you know, people get, being too close in proximity to one another and some business houses having too many people in there or too close to one another. So we have dealt with that. Superintendent, how, how are people reacting to um, your sort of policing of the, of the rules? Are they, um, what's their general disposition? Are they happy about it? Are they upset about it? How are they responding? Overall, we've had great support from the public. Uh, People are very supportive of what, uh, of what we are trying to achieve and I think generally the community recognise that the measures that are being taken are in their own interest and for their interest. So we've had great support in that regard. Uh, and the approach that we're taking I think is entirely appropriate, that we, uh, we put the responsibility into the, uh, into the general public and, and they're responding accordingly.